The standard of care in a medical malpractice case is a legal term whereby a physician is held to act at a minimum manner. If he falls or if she falls below that standard, then you have at least one of the prongs of a medical malpractice claim. There are three. One of which is, did the physician breach the standard, uh, which is a fancy way of saying, did he or she make a mistake that secondly caused you injury, and thirdly that those injuries are causally or approximately or connected to the mistake the physician made. What we do in order to show that, because I'm not a physician, I'm a lawyer, what we do is when we have a case come in that involves a medical malpractice claim, we find the specific medical provider or an expert in the field that, that, uh, that the situation arose, such as if you've had a, a, a circumstance where the physician during a surgery made a mistake, we'll find an expert in that field who's also a surgeon who also practices. We don't just go out and hire hired guns or experts who just testify because that's what they do. We find people who treat patients in that field and we send your medical records to them for review. We pay for that. We also make sure that whatever the issue you have is fully explored by a medical provider who's an expert in that field and he or she will tell us whether you have a case or not. So when you come to us and, look and ask or, or seek uh, representation for a med mal case, we'll find an expert to help us understand whether you have a case or not because one thing we don't want to do, we don't want to sue anybody, we don't want to bring a claim against anybody where it's not deserved. What we want to do is represent people who've been injured and truly injured at the hands of a physician who's made a mistake. And we'll provide that answer for you, and then we'll decide what's the best route to take in order to enforce your rights. One of the, the recent examples that we've handled as far as medical malpractice cases is concerned is this. I uh, met with a 84-year-old um, man who was a World War II veteran, a delightful guy, and he had um, said he'd been dropped while being cared for in a hospital and the medical records didn't provide that. His spouse was unsure as to whether that really had happened or not. When I asked the medical provider to claim that whatever was going on was probably caused from the uh, result of the anesthesia, what we did is we got the medical records because I, I really like this guy, and although it was maybe a case I might not have ordinarily taken, I got the medical records, and through our investigation, we were able to show through the lack of records that in fact exactly what our client had said happened actually happened. The hospital had never admitted that and would never admit it had we not gotten the records, had someone review them, who came up with uh, some missing records or came up with the idea there were certain records missing. And through that, the hospital paid that claim after we filed suit.